Believe it or not, how you treat your baby now is one of the biggest indicators of whether your little one grows into a well-adjusted adult. Infants are emotional beings right from birth. In fact, emotions are biologically based, built into our brains, designed in part to help foster connection with others. Right from birth, infants experience several primary emotions. During the first six months of life, as the infant makes cognitive gains, these more simple emotions evolve into more sophisticated ones. And with each passing year, your child's emotional repertoire grows. Emotions in infants are expressed by facial reactions, so pay attention to what that little face is telling you. A sensitive parent will learn to pick up on different kinds of cries and facial expressions and will react appropriately. Reading your baby's nonverbal cues can help you be a more effective parent. Similarly, you will also become adept at decoding variations on a theme. For instance, when a cry means I'm tired versus another cry meaning I'm hungry. While this is not a foolproof mode of communication, you will learn to read your baby's individual needs by paying close attention. You may also learn when not to respond to a cry, which can be the foundation of a key life lesson that your baby can't always get what she wants. This helps foster some small steps toward independence, which is key for your child in developing the ability to self-soothe. As your baby gets older and her emotional centers develop further, allowing her to struggle through minor problems is vital. This helps her feel satisfaction at learning a new skill and also sets the stage for a child who can cope with frustration. So let your infant try to get up on her own after that small tumble or give your little one the space to pick up a drop toy on her own. While this may sound counterintuitive, one of the best ways to make your baby happy is to allow her to feel sad. Letting your child express sadness and anger teaches her that feeling bad is not only okay, it's a normal part of life. As your toddler gets older, encourage this even more by teaching her the words for her emotions. When your child can put her feelings into plain language, she becomes even more able to regulate them. Balance is key here. Teaching coping skills for negative emotions should go hand in hand with fostering and encouraging happy ones. One of the kindest things you can do for your child now is to encourage creative fun, from stacking blocks to playing make-believe. Engage in this play with your child as often as possible, as quality time with you is another key to childhood contentment. In the end, though, perhaps your baby's biggest barometer of happiness is you. Even very young babies can pick up on their parents' moods, so presenting yours with a calm, cheery attitude is one of the best ways to get your little one grinning. If this is hard for you because you're feeling overstressed, frequently depressed, or generally unhappy, it's vital to get some help for you. Seeking your own happiness is, after all, the best way to ensure your babies. <laughs>